In this video, I'm going to give you one of the most important tips probably of the Madden 23 season for man-to-man -man coverage. At least at this point, it's one of the most important things you can do to improve your man-to-man. -man. Really, I think this actually improves every coverage in the game, not just man coverage. Um, and nickel over is actually the best defense to do this out of. Now, you don't have to just do this out of nickel over, but... I think it, between nickel over and big nickel over G, these those two play those two formations is really really good to do this out of. If you want to learn either one of my ebooks, I've got ten offensive and defensive ebooks out right now. Uh, we just dropped our uh, four three even six one defensive ebook yesterday. If you want to get access to all of those ebooks, make sure you are in our Patreon page. Um, just ten bucks will get you access to everything. So what I wanted to do today was talk to you about man coverage, specifically as it pertains uh, to the current uh, meta offenses. Uh, we're going to look at bunch here in this clip. Um, you know, you can you can kind of cross apply this in a lot of directions, uh, but this is really really important for specifically defending uh, bunch. Okay, so um, if I come out in Overstorm Brave and I pinch my defense and I set this up kind of like normal, right? Uh, normal being like we're trying to force them to, you know, throw the ball quick, get the ball out of their hands quick, right? Something like this. And, you know, the idea is we're gonna send a lot of pressure and we're gonna have really good coverage in behind it. The problem with this defense um, is basically this. Pressed man coverage is problematic, um, especially at this point in the year. People are starting to get better at beating it. Um, you're starting, I actually think you're more susceptible uh, to aggressive catches. Um, you know, people are starting to get better at beating man to man, right? And it could be in a variety of ways. Like, I'll, I'll give you a couple. So, you know, again, obviously I can get shedded here. So just keep that in mind, you know, but I can easily just do something like this, block the blitz. And then now, you know, my corner route is, is going to go to the sideline. Obviously, I need to put a streak out there to clear out any zones um you know but but i have a, i have these corner routes um that i can hit and a lot of times especially if i have a good receiver running that corner route as you see i'm getting screamed at um if i have a good receiver receiver running the corner route then i could be in pretty good shape another example is the c route so uh we i thought i did a video on this as well you know something like this it's actually a really good setup here by the way uh if you're gonna run a that kind of combo but you see how uh, Godwin is is cooking in man. Okay, so the bottom line is, um, you know, press man. It leaves you susceptible to getting naturally rubbed, if you will. Um, so, like, let's see, like something like this. Got my little tight end quick out. You know, I got my slant. You saw the slant was open. I had the corner route as well. Okay, so don't worry so much about the blitz, um, but just know, like, if I'm in press man. This is kind of a problem um, for defense for the defense at this point because you're getting a lot of these natural rubs off of a jam and you get stuff like that. So you see how open Godwin is. Obviously, I didn't freeform it, but you see how open he is. So how do we combat that is kind of what I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, and it's actually something really simple but really effective and it's really powerful out of nickel over. It's something I've been starting to do. So when we press our coverage. All we're going to do is we're going to individually back off certain players. Now, another thing that we can do to bring these safeties down so that they're a little bit closer is we can show blitz. And most formations, when you do this, they'll bring these guys, these safeties down in the box. Dollar, it works. Big nickel, it works, right? It'll just bring them down a little better. So you see now we have really good alignment from our safeties. But as you, if you notice here, our corner on the right is misaligned and we're shading inside, of course. So you see here, we can actually manually press if we wanted to look like this. Or what we could also do, and this is my preferred thing right now, is we're going to back off our outside corners. So everything else is going to stay the same. We're just backing off these outside corners. And what you'll notice is a significantly more effective man-to-man uh, -man coverage. Now, you can shade. Um, you know, you can obviously shade if you want to. Uh, you know, so if you wanted to try something like this. But if you watch here... Now we get a clean press animation. Now he did beat the, he was just better. The receiver was able to beat the press, but we get one guy, whoever their primary guy is, 
And we, we don't even have to press this guy, honestly, and it, which it wouldn't be a bad idea to just not press him either. Um, you know, but watch this real quick over here on the left side. Watch how much better this player will play. You see how he drives on the route really well. It's also very deceptive because they don't know what he could be in almost any. I mean, he could be in anything over here. Same thing with this tight end route, right? Safety's off coverage. Watch, he plays actually fairly well. And, like, I'm able to help in the middle of the field, of course. Um, so when you combine the backing off of the coverage for specifically your outside players with a shade outside, I want you to see how this plays. So again, I'm just dropping zones um, so that I don't get screamed at here, you know, but this is kind of a general, you know, play that people will run. And if you watch, you see we play really, really well. So um, you see how much better the man coverage will play. And even though we're jamming this guy here and there is some natural picks and rubs happening, if you notice, it's primarily because of the zone that I'm dropping, which I wouldn't normally drop that zone. But the other thing I want to show you is this. So if you watch here, see, he's he's not like in a per I mean, he is beat, but he's definitely closer than he normally is. Now, we shaded outside, yet this, this skinny post is not open why because we backed it off normally when you shade outside skinny post gets open same thing with the slant look at that he doesn't get caught in any of the muck and he's able to just kind of handle the slant so this idea of shading outside is really 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 powerful and if you do it out of a base alignment as well as dropping these guys in coverage you'll find a lot of success with your man-to-man -man. And so you can, it, this right here at face value doesn't look like man to man, right? Uh, it could very well look like zone coverage. It could be a blitz. There's a lot of things that could be true of, of what we just did, right? So, you know, you notice that, um, you know, it doesn't quite look just like, just like man to man. So that's part of it. Another thing you'll notice here is there's the C route, by the way. You see my guys hanging on the C route on the left side a lot better. Um, if you look at the replay here, now we didn't have that guy going to the right. Um, again, he's mainly just, you see the one guy that's pressing on the play is getting killed. Uh, obviously, he's not my best player by any means. You know, So you could do something else like this. Like Let's say they're killing you in bunch with this slot. Which is it does happen by the way that you know maybe they want to you know this slot is the main player that you need to, to combat. Uh, what you can do, which I think is actually brilliant, is I can back these guys off. Now watch this adjustment right here. So this is something super streamlined. It's it's really more so for bunch, of course. Um, you know, but what we're going to do is we're going to take the outside corner and we're going to man him up onto the slot. And then we'll take the slot and we'll man him up on the outside guy or man him up on the tight end, right? You can kind of like mix and match who's on who basically is all I'm getting at here. So, you know, you could take your slot, man him up on the tight end, and then now you have the two guys that are off coverage are in a lot better spot, um, you know, to to defend. You know, so this guy here and now the, the guy that's on the slot's not jammed. Uh, and just by that, just with that one thing alone, just by doing that one thing, watch how much better he plays that corner. See how much better he plays the corner? Um, and so you could manually back off the slot, of course, if you wanted to. So another great thing, like, and this is more of a, a bunch specific thing, just back up the slot corner. You can actually press the outside guy in bunch specifically, okay? But again, every formation is a little different uh, in terms of how you're going to want to play this. Um, you know, but now you'll see with this guy backed off. This corner route becomes significantly harder to hit. Significantly harder. He was getting roasted every single time in press. And as soon as I back him off, he is he is no longer uh, an issue. Okay? So just mess with that a little bit. I Just the idea of backing off your coverages. Um, you know, one of my favorite things here is to take something like this. You know, and of course we want to keep that guy off. You know, but this right here is actually incredible defense, and you can kind of mix and match it as necessary as you see fit. But you know, the idea of backed off man coverage right now, I think, is one of the better uh, concepts that came. Uh, you saw this at the ultimate kickoff a little bit from Jack Organ, and um, I think it's actually really, really powerful. So um, you could do this out of any formation in the game, by the way. So I'm just going to spend just a few seconds showing you that, and then uh, we'll let you go again. If you want to get any of the ebooks. 
make sure you're in the Patreon. We give you access to everything by becoming a member. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that. Uh, so if you want to check it out, the link to sign up is down below. But like a, a great example could be, um, you know, Big Nickel is a really good example. So you'll see with this, if I come out in the play cover one hole and I'm base aligned, you see that it doesn't look, ignore the play art, um, but you see here, like it doesn't look like anything big. And then if I show blitz, now again, right here, this guy did come down here. This is a little bit of a, an issue uh, with the formation, but I can just manually back this guy off and voila. I mean, we're gonna play really solid coverage. You'll see here that the corner route um, is is not going to be anywhere near as open. It's going to be a harder throw. If you got a good player there, he's going to be able to make a play on the football. So you can do this from other formations as well. Uh, cover two man. Uh, I don't know why cover two. I don't know why he's coming over to the left side. Big Nickel's got some bugs, but whatever. Um, you know. But anyways, and I think it's because we didn't come out. We came out in a. We came out. That's the other thing that I was going to say. When you come out in a man play and you show blitz, I think it's really buggy. Um, they just don't go where you're where you are anticipating them going. So by coming out in a zone play first, like even a match play, for example, watch now. You see how he doesn't go over that way. And with big nickel, when we show blitz, you see the default alignment from show blitz out of big nickel is really good, really advantageous for what we want to be able to accomplish. You know, because we have the off coverage on everybody that we need to. We can maybe back that guy off and press this guy. And you see here, I mean, just a really powerful defense. Uh, and again, just the power of not pressing the corner routes, I think, will really help slow those down. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. That's just a concept you can apply to any formation in the game. Backing guys off in main coverage, really good for stopping some of the main routes that people are going to.